and welcome to scrapstation.com. In this video we're going to construct a 6x6 flip scrapbook. So we just finished the mini album. This uh, flip book is going to give you a little more space for your layouts, but a lot of the same embellishments and layout designs would apply. Anyway, I'm going to change the camera angle so that you can see how this works and then we'll talk about the materials and how to put this all together. Okay, so how this flip scrapbook works is first off it closes up with a bow and then you've got your cover and then you've got another album page and of course you've got the back of your cover and you flip that open and you've got this space and of course this space now we've got two flaps that open like this and then open again and so I'm not even sure that's all getting on screen and then lastly You've got a door sort of opening and the center of your album. And of course, any of these panels can be embellished with photographs, uh, phrases, whatever it is that you want to stick in here. And so, let me just run that again. This is a different color scheme. And so we open it up. We've got this page. We've got this page. We've got this flap. That opens, opens again, this flap that opens again, and then this. And as I mentioned, we're just going to be going over the construction, and then any of the embellishments is entirely up to you. Embellishments and layouts. And anyway, what you're going to need is three cardstock weight pieces of 12 by 12 uh, paper and so you'll need two of one color and then one of a contrasting color and that is strictly for the front of your scrapbook so um, I'm happen to be using to the nine specialty paper it is cardstock weight and this way I'll just make it easier easier for me to describe the front and the back of my pages so the front will always be an old olive and then the back will be the other patterns so let me get started with the schematic and talk about how to cut this up. Okay, let's begin with the two pieces for the main color that you've chosen. So the first thing you want to do is split them both in half at six inches. And so this way you've got four six by twelve panels. Now on the first panel, which is going to be the back of your album, you want to score at three inches and at two and three quarters on each side. And so that's going to look like this. Now the other three pieces, you score in at three inches on each side, and all three you do the same. And I've drawn the schematic, which actually pr probably took me longer to draw than it's going to take you to put together. Now for these three pieces, what you're going to want to do is at these flaps, bring them end to end. So I'm going to use a, a tape runner. Uh, they call it snail adhesive. It's also called tape runner and you just want to make sure that your three pieces are connected like this. Now if you permit me, since I have two different patterns on my paper, I'm going to go ahead and spin mine around this way and this way when those last doors open up I've got a different pattern showing. So how you do that? So I want this one to go with this one. I'm going to flatten this out, make sure I know what I'm doing, and use my snow. Oops. Let me open it up. And you could also use sticky tape. In fact, it's kind of recommended that you use sticky tape, but if I had to peel off that red, we'd be here all day. And you just want to marry those up perfectly. And then you've got that end, and now I want to secure this end. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to flip them over. And then now I want to go this way with it. Make sure I got those square. And 
and that's that. Now, once you have that together, let me go one more step. And I am going to flip this over, because I want that to be the back. And then all I'm going to do is, in this center section, attach my inside. So this is the inside of your album. This is the outside. So I'm going to do that. Oh man, can you believe it? Oh no, okay. Thought I ran out of smell adhesive there for a second. And I'm just gonna put a little little extra. Oh, I did run out. I'm gonna pause it. What I'm gonna do here at this point is attach that to that. I will show you when we get back. Um, while I'm doing that, the other piece, that other color you're going to need is four five and a half inch squares. So you actually don't use the whole piece of 12 by 12. But they're each four the same. And then lastly, get yourself two pieces of ribbon, coordinating ribbon. So let me refill my snail adhesive. I will attach that together and be back here in a second. But I'll leave you with a photograph of the schematic. I'm back. I've refilled my snail adhesive and everything's put together. So these are the three panels that make up the inside and now the inside is attached to the back in the center. Okay, now I want to grab those four pieces uh, for your cover. And so let's close this up. And the way your cover is going to work is you're going to want to sandwich this panel and have a ribbon coming out of this end for your left side. So if you will allow me once again, I want to switch this side and you want to come quarter inch on either side. But let's go ahead and attach a ribbon. So I've got a 10 inch, 10 inch length of ribbon and what I'm going to do is first off secure it on the underside with a piece of scotch tape and this way when I'm attached putting everything together uh, let me see that's six inches I'm going to be probably right about there it's not that critical pretty much center Now, let me sandwich this, and on the inside, I'm going to go ahead and use my paisley. So these two get sandwiched together on this end. Actually, what I'm going to do is attach this cover first. So let me use my snail adhesive. It's only cumbersome. It only looks cumbersome. It's really not that difficult. And then I'm just going to put some. Oh. Mm -hmm. Like so. And put this cover on. And as it turned out, my stripes are lining up, which I would never believe. Now, on the inside cover. Follow, make sure it's open, right side up. Put some there, and since it's going this way, and I just want to make sure these outside ends marry up. side cover. Let me fold that back up. And this is actually the top cover. 
Now on this cover, we want the ribbon coming out this way. So let me get another piece of ribbon, and I'm going to do the same thing. And then I'm going to scotch tape into the center. Now recognize that you're going to have a quarter inch sticking out there, so give yourself a little room. I don't know if I mentioned these are 10 inch lengths of ribbon. And let me see, on the outside I'm going to use my stripes and on the inside my paisley. But you're going to have a solid color so it's not going to matter. And I am going to do the same thing. And make sure I've got stripes to worry about. So, I'm going to go this half. Give myself a quarter inch border. And then I want the paisley again to show, so I'm just going to get a piece of it all over this. Make sure my edges line up. Now, when I close this, and I close this, and of course you can trim this ribbon. And actually that one needs a little bit of ironing. you could have gotten away with ooh let me see I used 10 inches I mean it's plenty of bow three inches so maybe seven inch seven inch on either side and you'll be fine so let's see if we put it together correctly one flap one flap you've got this to open and this is the last flap Anyway, like I said, it took me longer to draw the schematic than put the album together. At this point, it's all photographs, embellishments, and memorabilia. So, hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, have fun scrapbooking.